welcome everybody. Um, I want to introduce myself. My name is Hans Troyer. Uh, I'm a graduate uh, alumni for Augusta University. I ran five years there. I just graduated this spring. And uh, my new and current goals are ultra marathons. And uh, I have big dreams and aspirations uh, regarding ultra marathons. And this was my first official uh, ultra race. And uh, so enjoy it and, and uh, enjoy my journey. here in Augusta we just got here it's uh it's almost 10 45 at night and we gotta be up at like um probably like 6 a.m so uh not a whole lot of sleep to go but uh it's all good we're excited and we we're gonna run off caffeine in the morning um but yeah i'm just preparing my race kit now uh figuring out how my goose fit in my pocket and whatnot um but but yeah grace is excited i'm excited um yeah so that's that all right we got the race kit here all lined up looking pretty so i got my brooks half tights double pockets on the side with the nike take top it's got stains all over it from disc golf i'm gonna be rocking the arm sleeves tomorrow uh, with some dry max socks the on cloud hat garmin watch I got this Amphipod little flexible bottle right here. And these are my hydration, or sorry, my nutrition. Got Double Martin, Goose, Caramel. This is for my nipples, for, you know, no chafing. And then, uh, yeah. And I also got Body Glide and some um, other chafing stuff. But yeah, that's that. I'm eating a bagel now, and then uh, I'm gonna go to bed. So. I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's time. It is a little after six o'clock. We're about to head out. Um, I just gotta eat some breakfast, but. Oh yeah, we are here, um, we just got our bibs, and I am bib number 50 for 50k, <laughs> it's a lucky bib, it's uh, it's gonna be a good race, but I talked to the race director, he gave me a little rundown of the course, and um, feeling confident. Grace is just telling me again, she thinks she's gonna try and go more like hour eight for her half <laughs> marathon. Uh, just Cause she's feeling very fast and fit. They got that Red Bull going and she got bib number. 180. 180. <laughs> Lucky, uh, 180 degree turns, what the competitors are doing when they're gonna be super upset. Mm. They're getting whooped. But, but yeah, young and fit. Um, I'll probably start doing some hip stuff to to loosen up, but at least I got a little bit, so probably gonna eat some more food, and that'll be that. Yeah. All right, I'm lubed up. It's almost time. About to put my shoes on and fill my pockets with nutrition. <laughs> what up? What's up? <laughs> we about to go to the starting line. I'm all ready. Race kit. It's on. And you will pass it again uh, two more times. So you'll pass that point three times. Also, <laughs> you feel all the nerves. You look so excited. <laughs> so, he's just, um, <laughs> it's pretty, uh, it's pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> it's slightly larger than, longer than a 
5K. All right, on your, on your mark, get set, go. Here we go, baby. You got it. You got it. Let's go, Hans. Let's go, Hans. It's almost done, baby. It's gonna be like 33 miles there. All right, race is over. Race is driving because I am having or had uncontrollable leg cramps, and we're we're waiting it out to make sure that I can uh, not cramp while drive driving. So. Uh, but the race good. It went really well. Grace took the dub. She brought it home. An unexpected but very expected W. Uh, so she brought it home in a half marathon. I did manage to take it down in the in the, the 50k. I was excelling. So good. I was, I was crushing it for 24 miles. And then I fell, I fell off a little bit. Um, but we made it. And a great experience. We got some cool trophies that I'll show you all in a little bit. Uh, but now we're headed to Fleet Feet Augusta to use our prize money uh, before we leave town. But yeah, so good for Grace. We're happy. We're happy for Grace. Go Grace. We're Grace fans, uh, but not as good as Grace. But but yeah, I'll do I'll do more of like a, a race. Uh, um, I'll talk more about the race when I get home. Uh, let it soak in, see what I think about it. But, but yeah, that's just the, the the two hours after the race talk. Uh, but yeah, and the, the guys that uh, also ran the 50K, really nice guys. It's fun to talk about the race. Uh, so good job to them as well. <clears throat> I've made a full recovery. successful journey. My legs have already made a full recovery. I've been done running for about five hours, so I'm ready to run again. You'll see a, a double run tomorrow, most likely. Um, but yeah, no, I actually, I've, I've gotten hydrated again. I had a protein shake, ate a little meal that uh, some friends cooked for us, very nice of them. So I'm feeling good again. Uh, I still don't like long car rides, so that's why I used to driving. Because uh, I'm gonna, I just don't want to drive, but but yeah. So we're on our way home. Um, successful weekend. And when we get back, I'll do like a, just a race recap video, just kind of go through my thoughts on how it went, what I can change, uh, things like that. But but yeah, we'll see you then. All right, and we're back. A race recap. Uh, so as y'all saw, I did bring it home, which is very exciting to have a, uh, a win in my first race. Um, I, I ran really well, I think. 
I, uh, I got out even harder than I thought. I mean, really, I just wanted to run this race just to get more experience with hydration and nutrition. Um, but then as soon as we started, I got excited and went faster than I was planning on going. And then when I went faster, I decided to hold that for uh, as long as I can. So I went like 24 miles, averaging around 640, 642. Um, and then, but because of that, I, I, guess I, I guess I didn't do what the plan was in terms of practicing with hydration and nutrition. I slacked off doing that and that uh, I paid the price for it as y'all probably saw my last few miles were not super good uh, they were all uphill they can kind of design the, the race like that so it's finished uphill which makes it more tough which I like I like a good tough challenge but uh, running uphill combined with being dehydrated and not having a lot of nutrition in me my legs were kind of cramping um, I had some quad cramps going on so I was running a little bit straight leg near the finish <laughs> which is why the last few miles were kind of slow but luckily I had uh, a good cushion going into it um, but it was so much fun the race is well directed uh, people were all really fun um, and it was it was a good a good experience altogether and I learned a lot so looking forward to uh, continue training um, but yeah and it's it's um, um <laughs> it's uh I think it's only about nine hours since I finished and like my legs actually feel really good which is another factor showing that it was just you no know, hydration and nutrition near the end of it because my legs have really made a full recovery in these past nine hours um like I, I was thinking maybe I'd cross train tomorrow but like I think I'm good to run <laughs> uh it feels really good and I got a hydration vest with some of the with some of the the prize from the thing so excited to have a hydration vest for future races but but yeah once again um thank you all for tuning along or tuning in um it's really exciting for me because i was thinking just yesterday about how uh you know my first ever cross-country race was at loganville uh and it was small and i ran like 22 37 or something and then uh, my final cross-country race last fall i was in seattle washington and it was one of the coolest experiences i've ever had and so starting this new journey um in ultra marathoning it's like my first official race was uh in uh, augusta you know um, and it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a huge race. It was a blast, but it wasn't a huge race. And all I can think about is, uh, you know, years from now when I'm doing some of my last races, like where will I be, you know, cause there's a lot of really cool races out there. So, so yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. And, um, I hope I'll have some really cool experiences, races, shoe reviews, uh, stuff in the future. Um, but yeah, stay young and fit. Thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> we cramping oh everywhere oh i wish you could see it on camera more oh that hurts so bad i don't know how to get rid of it ow oh i went up from the lean over it's right here oh now my arm's cramping okay this isn't good i think i need an iv or something no we don't have an iv it's gonna be okay all right, deep breaths. Okay. It's stopping. It's stopping. Oh, I can't lose my arm out that way. That was rough. We just had probably a minute, 30 seconds straight quad cramp. At least. But, okay. Yeah, we got it on camera. <laughs>